Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there, welcome back. Welcome back, guys. So we did this video today over on Patreon. This is a Patreon exclusive talking about a DARPA insider that reveals alien invasion underway. Hmm. And immediately, many people say, ah, fake invasion, blue beam. And you know, what if blue beam is controlled disinformation? After all, who really trusts a former Nazi now? I don't know. That wouldn't surprise me. Absolutely. Or the current Nazis for that. I know. The current <laughs> Nazis. Right. It's all part of one big system. One big system. Uh, yeah, this was, this was absolutely a fun one. Oh, there's so much going on out there. It's, it's hard to keep up with it. And you have a lot of conflict going on over in the UK um, after the horrible, atrocious attack on little ones that, that was just unbelievable. Uh, three little girls lost their lives. Many were injured. And, you know, I'm careful I'm stopping all these because with one of these Twitter feeds running in the in the background, that is what they did uh, to ban a video we did uh, a couple days ago, about three days ago, worldwide banned everywhere uh, because of 10 seconds of video that was rolling in the background. Now, I found that many channels have had issues, even some gotten strikes for showing some things that happened at the Olympics. Um, so, you know, again, there is one unified system that rules this planet with an iron fist, and yet it gives us all this chaos and destruction that you see going on in order to keep humans not looking in a certain direction. And so what they're doing is, as long as humans are fighting humans, they'll never look up or never look down for that matter they won't see what's really going on so chaos is has been sowed obviously this migratory pattern that we've seen put into effect is nothing new in fact it's less new than i realized even just a year ago uh, the, the the way that they use the same things it just ebbs and, ebbs and flows you know there's more intense periods less intense more intense less intense you know they put the <laughs> they put the pedal to the floor for a while then they ease it off but it never really stops and part of the way you control the people is you don't let them root you don't let them ground you keep them questioning their own identity in every way possible it really is a lot of uh, psychological warfare that goes on in so many ways, and it's not nice. I mean, they're really not nice about it at all. I, to let somebody rest and ground and root and just live and be happy, you know, if, if that were the primary energy, we wouldn't have problems like this. Absolutely. As you see, uh, it looks like we're looking at, you know... <laughs> jousting almost they just need horses here you know it's just crazy it's just crazy but we would have to expect that this is going to happen and there's a lot of energy being put in place frequency energy to trigger people and this is something that more people are starting uh, to understand by the way look at the chaos in the UK, again, there's not a lot of people with guns. Uh, so you, instead of that, you have them grabbing machetes, you know, etc., butcher knives. And, oh, yeah, bladed weapons can be lethal. We, this is what they're, you know, talking about here and arguing and fighting about. And you know, there was a chant going on. Uh, that was in reference to, again, uh, the belief system of the majority of those that have made their way into uh, the NATO countries, especially into the UK and Ireland right now. There is a lot of one group that is of one particular belief system. And so, as I've said to you guys, uh, why do we harp about fundamentalism? Because fundamentalism is one of the 
primary tools that the control system institutes. When you believe something in a black and white way, you can be manipulated so easily, so easily, and it's happening. And as we've said, in the United States, they want to create a civil war before uh, they have the full-fledged WW3 get underway. They're well on the way to that. And then also, they want to create a war of Islam against Christianity. And I know this is something that, that just regularly causes us to, to lose subscribers, but I'll keep saying it. You know, Modern-day Christianity and Islam, they're creations of the control system. They're useful tools. I don't believe that we have the true teachings of, of the one known as Jesus Yeshua. Uh, it's certainly not the blood sacrifice part of it and the original sin uh, part of it and all that, um, all that conditioning and uh, narcissistic abuse that is the belief structure that makes humans think that they're worthless and have to just simply throw themselves on the mercy of a higher power because when you look back to those depictions of the Anunnaki beings here on the planet and humans chained together like slaves because they were slaves, you're looking back at, at our actual past. Now it's just economic slavery and it's also uh, just mind control of a different variety. I think the mind control is the big one, really. That's so important. And it's on so many levels. Yeah. So, you know, again, what if you find out that your belief system is a fabrication in order to keep you at odds with another group with a different belief system? And, you know, what if, you know, you go and, and go off to war, you know, again, Constantine, who was a pagan, uh, and then decided to, you know, have modern Christianity brought about in order to use it as a political tool, he said he saw a vision of the cross and, and to go and conquer in it. The real Yeshua would never say, you know, go and conquer in my name. That is so anti-Christ, and yet it's what the world believes, or at least some in this world, which are very vocal. I think those were really important words that you said, and it's a really important um, a little bit of information that you gave. I, it, it's the true Antichrist coming from those who claim to have created it. Absolutely. So you can't believe anything is the bottom line, except for uh, that ultimately it, there is this oneness in this ocean of consciousness, and it's really that we are deep in the muck and the mire of this particular density, which is a challenging density to, to live in. Uh, and here you have Caracas. They say the streets are packed to the brim with protesters out to support opposition leader uh, Maria Corina Machado during her first major speech since the election. Um, now, some photos that I had seen earlier turned out that they were actually from like 2017. Ah, okay. Um, and then what we have is this person, Jackson Hinkle, is down there in Venezuela, or at least he says he's in Venezuela, and he says uh, everything's kind of calm where he is anyway. He doesn't see the chaos. Hmm, okay. You know, there's, there is absolutely that theatrical um, <laughs> aspect of things, just like the moon, moon landings and all that. Um, you know, Stanley Kubrick, 2001 Space Odyssey, uh, you know, better visuals than we got from NASA for sure, you know, but never a straight answer. Here you go. Spanish member of European Parliament, an expert on South American affairs, says the world must do more to save Venezuelans from Maduro. He says that the monstrous, monstrous dictatorship has been torturing Venezuela for 25 years. So here you have uh, somebody that's uh, a member of, of the European Union and European Parliament. What does he advocate? Sending troops? Uh, again, they're trying to start World War III. The reality is, too, if, if you look at what happened in Venezuela, uh, I see many posts saying, and, and posts by this person, too, saying this is what socialism leads to. But the fact is, you know, there were sanctions where 
you know, they were ostracized, and those sanctions were led by uh, the U.S. and NATO and, and the EU as well. So, you know, what's the reality here? Um, I think, again, we have to talk to actual Venezuelans, and then you might get different points of opinion. That's something that's key. You have Maduro saying the same system responsible for the assassination of JFK, a time when RFK is right now postered all over Times Square because he's still running or at least given the appearance of running, whether or not he ends up being in a high position in 45's cabinet. We'll see. Uh, and the assassination attempt on, on 45 is now attempting to incite civil unrest in Venezuela. Oh, okay. So it's just the, the leftist deep state is what he's saying. Is that what he's saying? You know, again, it all depends on your perspective. Opposition rioter in Venezuela dies for the camera and then ends up getting up and driving away. Wait a minute. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You know, and, and yet the puddle of blood was there, or actually it wasn't really blood, was it? Hmm. PSYOP in full force. What's really happening? See, this is part of it. Uh, here you have... A group of soldiers saying that they reaffirm absolute loyalty, unconditional support to Maduro. Then there was another smaller group of soldiers that were seen saying, you know, hey, the rest of uh, the military, you got to support the real president. And it's not Maduro anymore. He lost. But which one was filmed on a stage and, and then in the back alley or maybe it was filmed over, you know, over in Los Angeles? Hollywood, you know, could have been. And then how do we judge which one is real and which one isn't when we're not actually there ourselves? Right. You know, you we, we do have some things to go on. You know, anything that's really, really popular and has a whole lot of views, always look at that. You know, always, always, always question that. Usually the truthful information it is going to be very subdued. It's going to be very difficult to get out there into into the light because the controllers control the entire media. So if they want you to be confused, guess what? You're going to be confused. But I just keep telling people, no matter what you are seeing out there, keep reeling it back in into your own heart, into your own space. Control what you can because that, that chaos, that's going to go on whether you worry about it or not. So it's best to just take care of business at home and do what you think is best for you and your family for upcoming times. Then we have this uh, saying, saying that WikiLeaks is confirming that the exit poll for the Venezuelan election was conducted by a firm backed up by the CIA. Hmm, Edison Research. Now it's fascinating too because I was doing research earlier this morning um, and when you look at it, Venezuela at one time was the fourth most prosperous nation on the planet. Um, right before I was born, you know, back in the early 60s, it was very prosperous. And in fact, um, you know, some notable people uh, like the Rockefellers had, had places in Venezuela. It was a place to be. It was booming with oil. And, uh, you know, it, its economy was booming. But of course, there was always the you know, discrepancy between the haves and the have-nots. And it's interesting to see comments where people still just simply are acting like uh, trained parrots and will say things like, well, in cop ca <laughs> communism, they want you to all share equally. But really, the reality is communism, capitalism, socialism, all these labels, these are all labels that the same power structure uses just to keep us apart but what really happens there's always this elite class that controls and has all the wealth and in these times too now that we're you know in the end of the dark age and people are are being exposed to the light we're just starting to realize that it doesn't matter you know any of these labels they don't matter they're all the same system. They all control through greed, ego, and, and finding the most appropriate people with the biggest egos and the most lust for greed, power, wealth, fame, 
that they can that will basically uh, turn their backs on humanity and the planet in order to better themselves and that's who's in charge mm-hmm. it's about creating well, taking orders. so taking orders creating so much chaos that people don't know what to think anymore so they just kind of sit there and they spin and they spin and they spin and they're not making any progress when the progress that should be being made is in your soul it, it should be you know, being made in your energy body, because that's the really, really, truly important thing is how is your energy body and everything that's thrown out there is thrown out there to really screw people up. Yeah, this is an old um, talking about WikiLeaks and everything like that. Um, This was an old uh, memo that went back and forth between Jake Sullivan and Hillary Clinton and talking about a 6.3 magnitude earthquake in Christchurch, New Zealand, and on cue, mm. as if, okay, well, we needed to, you know, have one down there, and there it is, right on time. You know, you could look at it that way, and other people will say, oh, no, no, it's just a coincidence, it's just, you know, maybe she's being or sarcastic, or he's being sarcastic, or just having fun, uh, taken out of context. That whole context thing is very useful. It's very useful because you could you could play it on both sides of the net, so to speak. Oh, you sure can. And they do all the time, depending on what side we've decided to become a part of. The key is not to be part of any of their sides because you're playing their game. It's monopoly money. They're the bank. They always win. It's when you say, no, I'm not going to play your game of Monopoly, then we actually have a fighting chance. We get enough people to say, no, we don't want to take part in any of this system. Understand the roots, again, of, of the Venezuelan issue. It was prosperous, but again, there was disparity. Just like you could go to any, any nation, any, any island in the Caribbean, and you're going to see uh, the elite class, you know, that doesn't sweat with thousand um, dollar dinners, and then you're going to see people that don't make a thousand dollars in maybe a year, living on the same island. Th- this, it will, you know, again, the elites will come and go as they will. Uh, this is the reality. There is no need for disparity, and they've sown the idea that. You know, in the Western nations, they've sown the idea of sharing equally as a horrible bad thing. Oh, no, no. You know, then you have no upward mobility. But like Cindy's saying, the upward mobility we need to be concerned with is our frequency because that determines where we go. It's not a dogma. It's your frequency that determines what happens in your afterlife. It's very, very important. It's very important to watch your frequency, watch where it goes. And this was really, really cool looking at this. Um, I don't know. I just thought it's it's something that you might find out in front of a casino in Vegas. It's just a lot of fun. Do you think there was ever an actual head that went inside that helmet? Mm, no. So you think this was really more of a statue? More of a, a statue, yeah. More of a statue. Decoration. But at the same time, if that's a six-foot head, mm. yeah, it probably would be somebody that would be about 35, 40 feet tall. That would be a big big person there. Maybe a big boy, maybe a big girl, maybe maybe a decline to answer whether it is a boy or a girl. Because, I, you know, again, this system's been in place for thousands of years, guys. And this guy's just really cute when... It's really hot outside and you don't have anywhere to go. Just get a bucket, pour some water, and go crazy splashing. It'll, it, it works. Look how happy this guy is. Absolutely. You know, again, he doesn't need anything fancy. He, he's got himself, uh, you know, it's kind of like a, a hillbilly or a redneck hot tub. I've always had these visions of creating my own redneck hot tub. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, just going to put... You know, one of those old cast iron tubs up on some cinder blocks, get some wood, and there you go. But then, you know, re- remembering the witch hunts, I thought, nah, maybe not. Uh, we'll see what happens. It won't, we won't do it during the witch hunts. Yeah, flashbacks again. Yeah. Past life flashbacks. As always, guys, thanks for your support. We couldn't do it without you. 
Look forward to your comments. Much love. Source blessed. Namaste. Namaste.